In this tutorial, I will be walking through laser pointer configuration. With your project open in the CNC panel, locate the configuration icon in the top right hand corner. Look through the menu on the left hand side and find fabrication heads under machine. Click new fab head and set the type to laser pointer. Under general, you will see the offset X and Y parameters, which is used when you have more than one fab head. For example, if your primary fab head is a plasma torch, it might have an offset of 0, 0, and then the laser pointer would be offset from these coordinates. Under laser control, define output lines used to control the fab head. Add additional output lines by selecting the plus icon. Subtract output lines by selecting the X. These selected output lines determine the on and off state of the laser when the turn on using parameter is set to output lines. Scroll down to the pointing settings where you can determine the start and end of the laser pointer. This allows you to turn off the laser pointer when it is moving from one point on the workpiece to the next. You can define these operations in the dialog boxes that pop up or you can click edit to see a code editor window. Once you are satisfied with these settings, click the Save button. Once you are in the CNC panel, you will see the laser pointer you've just created on the left hand side. As the laser pointer is now configured, it can be turned on and off by clicking the icon. The pointer can also be locked in the on position. This will prevent the system from switching to the plasma when running a program. This is useful for tracing the cut path using the laser pointer before cutting. Once you have completed these steps, you are ready to use your laser pointer during cutting. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how you can find the offset between two fab heads when the offset is unknown. First, we need to confirm in the configuration window that both of the offsets for each of our fab heads are set to 0, 0. Then click Save to make sure that these parameters are applied. In the CNC panel, click on the plasma fab head to activate it. Then jog the fab head to scrap material. And click the Set drop down menu to zero the X and Y program coordinates. Also make sure to lower the torch to an acceptable pierce height. Navigate over to the plasma head control panel and turn the torch on and then off to pierce a hole. Next, click the laser pointer control panel to activate it and you will notice that although the laser pointer is positioned in a different location, the coordinates are the same as the plasma fab head because we set both of their offsets to zero. In order to find the offset, use the jog control panel to move the laser pointer over the pierce hole. The new XY values you see under the Program Coordinates panel represent the offset between the laser pointer and the plasma fab head. Now that we know these coordinates, we can go back to the configuration window, click the laser pointer settings, and input these values for the XY offset. And then make sure to save these changes. Once you return to the CNC panel, you will see that the laser pointer's position corresponds to the offset we've just inputted.